Why, hello there, my young friend. Have you ever, have you ever stapled a squirrel to a corpse? Because, because we're gonna be doing that today, if you've never done that before. Oh, oh god. That's dark. Book of the Grove, chapter 4, verse 1. Is that 4? That's 4, right? I think that's 4. Saith the goat of the wood, thou shalt not staple squirrels. Wisdom, am I right? Got him. There's one. Pop. I think it ran off. That's fair. I was going to kill it. The Lady Part 1. Once there was a lonely artist who lived by himself in the woods. Desiring to ease his loneliness, he saved a meager earnings and purchased a fine paintbrush crafted from the hair of a beautiful woman. Woman. The artist loved his paintbrush so much that he used it to paint the woman who had given her hair for its creation, as she imagined she must as as he imagined she must look. He was then informed that due to a terrible mix up, the hair had actually come from a boar. Come back tomorrow for part two. Wow. I will be coming back tomorrow. That was hilarious. Going home after stapling some squirrels. Gonna nail him to my wife. She's dead. All roads lead to house, m'lady. I think I should take a sleep. <laughs> you are sleeping. Well, wasn't that a great rest we just had, wife? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> was, was that a ghost squirrel? Squirrel, big old squirrel. I would like, I would like a word with you. The Lady Part Two. The artist was inconsolable and spent his days weeping and taking and talk and taking his portrait on long walks in the rain. On one of these walks, he encountered an old woman who said, "Ah, young man, I can see the reason for your despair. Come with me. For a few pennies," she said, "his treasured painting could be brought to life." The artist was overjoyed, and the spell was cast. Only then did he remember that not, he had only painted the woman from the waist up. Oh, oh god. What is this? Squirrel fact. Squirrels cannot burp, vomit, or experience heartburn. Wow. Wait, that isn't my house. Every day you can commit sins at, sh at the Shady Shack to boost your score. Don't mind if I do! I didn't expect to be committing sins today. <laughs> sin, sin me up. Yeah, that's those are words. Words that I hear with my ears. I don't want squirrels. I want your skin. Give me back my skin, or give me yours instead. <laughs> Silly wife. You can't have my skin, but you can have squirrels. You want more squirrels, right? Ah, uh, uh, I'm scared. Right. Lady Part Three. The newly created half woman screamed and wailed, clawing her way in circles around the room. As blood poured from the bottom of her torso and entrails flopped around in tangles, the artist sobbed and looked to the old woman, who was examining the pennies he'd given her unfazed. She caught his gaze, shrugged, and said. I reserve a special spell for these circumstances. She pointed to an axe mounted on the wall. Return tomorrow for part four. I will. Oh. I see, uh, I, I see you're having a little snack. In this way, the squirrel is good and the lobster is bad. Wherefore, squirrels may die so that squirrels may live, just as lobsters live so that lobsters may die. Poetic. Squirrels can debone a human male in under three hours. That, that gave me an achievement. Wow. I've achieved something. Ugh. Okay. The artist lifted his axe, tears streaming from his face. Half-woman continued to scream and claw, 
He brought the axe down. Her left arm rolled across the floor, and still she screamed and, and writhed. He brought it down again, separating her skull into two parts, and somehow she still screamed. Again, the axe came down, and again, and again, and again, until she screamed no more. Return tomorrow for part five. I don't wanna! I you ready for more squirrels? And I say unto you, in those final days, the groves will bend in agonized worship, and the nutless man will be judged with his own industrial penetration and godless adhesion. So, the stapler will become the stapled. Well, I hate the sound of that. Gordon Ramsay, um, I, co I cook for him. And then he yells at me and calls me a donkey. I must prepare to meet God. What? I thought I was going home. The artist's ears rang as he turned to the old woman and said, What is this unspeakable horror that you have brought to me? How I, can, how I, uh, how I can never escape was what has been done here. What penny spell can you cast to conjure some good for this? And the old woman uh, explained, examined the bloody mess and said, Well, young man, this will make a mighty fine stone. So they made a stew from the remains, but it was poison and they both died. Art will eventually destroy the artist. The end. Oh, God. Uh, God is coming. Uh, 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 um. Where? Where is God? Where? Where is God? <laughs> 